Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilson at Art to Life, and I'm going to talk about how to get through that ugly middle part <laughs> of your painting uh, or the, the project you're working on, um, because that's really common for a lot of people uh, that you're working on something and you start out strong and you're really into it and it's really exciting, but then uh, then it just kind of bogs down. And so, like, what's happening there? So. When we start, uh, when we start our pictures, um, usually there's something we have something inspiring or we're playing around or there's something going on. And in the beginning, it's really easy to put something down and have it look good because there's not a lot of other things going on. And it's just by its own, by its, you know, seeing it clearly, whatever that is compared to a blank canvas, it looks pretty good. You just close your eyes and make a brush stroke. It's going to look pretty good. And then you get excited and you keep kind of working on it and you're riffing along. And then after a while, it kind of starts to bog down a little bit. And what happens is that you start liking it often and then you get a little more tight and you're trying to figure out what to do uh, because you want to preserve some of it. So now you're like making art with one arm tied behind your back because you're really not totally free. So. And you also get stuck staring like, what do I do now? Like, it's kind of good. What do I do now? And this is that middle part. And this was a painting that I was working on and I actually like it pretty much, but it's not far enough. And this is, this is just as challenging when you really like something. Like I actually was going to send this to the gallery and, but then I realized, no, this can go further. So, so how do you know what to do next? And as I said, in the beginning, you don't have an idea. You have an idea and you're going off of it and then you kind of get bogged down because they're all there's all this is all new here what do i where do i go what you have to do is you have to you derive your direction from what you've already created and this is really important it doesn't come from looking at other people's paintings or remembering what you used to do or some um, process or some habitual way of doing it you have to look at the work where it's at and Find the parts that are really exciting to you. And that can take some time. It's like, why do I like this so much? And why, you know, th for this one, I really like, I like these colors for one thing. I like these, these shapes and these colors. Just that's the part that I really like. And if I can identify that, then I can start thinking, okay, I also kind of like this generally, I mean, a little bit, but that's the sweet, that's what gets me excited. So now I'm kind of juiced again. And now I can start thinking, what am I going to put on this picture that is a juxtaposition to these three things here? Well, it's going to be something large and something maybe not colorful. You know, what's the opposite that will make these more like that? These are these kind of color. Maybe I do more of these. So I would now go into this picture with that and I would start coming in with something much bigger, much more open, probably make this shape much bigger. But do you see that's how you how you stay in the game of it mentally. You're not, I'm not worrying about ruining something. I'm getting excited about the, the one part. It could be just a little tiny part that I like. And then I'm exploding the work to complement that. And that keeps you uh, excited and, and painting and make mark making the same way you've been making marks all along. You wanna have that kind of consistently like, um, to sort of stay in the play of it uh, as, as long as you can. Um, because if you start getting tight and trying to preserve things, then, then you get stiff. I'm not changing these right now. I'm, 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 I know I want to keep those. So now I'm going to work on the other parts of it in response to that. And I love this because it's, it's, a, it's a call and response. It's something that I discover on my own. It grows me because I'm having to ask the question, what do I love here? What's going on? What's new here? What's exciting? And sometimes there isn't anything. And I still have, then you just start making marks and messing around in the beginning. But usually the, the, the ugly stage, the part that where you're just bogging down is this stage where it's like, and, and this looks pretty good, but it's not there yet. And I'm not really thinking. So now I'm going to riff off of these and, and really, really develop it. So that's the, that's the workaround uh, totally for, for that getting stuck. If you find yourself 
uh, in many like getting stuck and then you work a little and then you get stuck and you're just getting, it's taking forever. It's, it's something, this is, that means that you can work on this process. Ideally, you want to be as free as you can be in the, from the beginning. Like it's a free, kind of a free feeling. It's pretty easy. Now, having said that, you can work on this, but then if you're really getting bogged down, move to the next one and put another one here and do the same thing and move to that. So it's really a ray. It's like keeping it moving. You know, it's like you're just moving. You're all, you're mark making. So you're not going to slow down. You know, it's like a Jeep on a muddy road. If it's, if it goes too slow, it gets stuck in the mud, but you just, if you keep on moving, that momentum carries you through. I mean, really it's, it's, a, it's a, you're going to make better marks if you're just spontaneously riffing off of it. This process of finding a way as you go based on the parts you love, especially in the middle part of the work of the phase of the painting is really, really important. So this is, um, you know, we were having a kind of a talk about this in the artists um, Facebook group, and there's lots of ways people deal with this. So I'd love to hear your comments. Um, there's many ways to, to troubleshoot this. This is just what I do. And so um, that it might be helpful. And it's a, it's a really important subject because it's, it's so fun to get the thing going in the beginning. And then if it just drags down, I mean, people were writing in, I've got so many half finished paintings and they're just piling up. That indicates that your, your, your process is bogging down. So anyway, I hope this was helpful and uh, leave your comments in uh, below, if, you know, how you solve this problem as well as um, we have a link there. If you wanna join the artists uh, Facebook group, um, the Art to Life Artists Facebook group, um, go ahead and join that. A lot of great discussion going on. All right, hope your Sunday's going really good. Thanks.